Russian roulette. Two players remain. Melissa has $475. Jason has $1,275. Jen dropped. We took her money and we split it evenly amongst the two of you. Uh, all right. Now we go into this round, which decides who will be our winner. Jason, you're in the lead. That makes you the challenger. But players, remember that in this round, strategy is very important. It is absolutely everything. As the challenger, you can pass the question to Melissa and have her answer. But if you'd like, you can keep the question, risk all that you have, and try to answer it yourself. All right? Questions in this round are worth $250 each. We always start with one drop zone. Are you both ready? Yeah. Let's play the game. Here's the first question. According to the New York Times, what type of natural disaster kills the most people in the United States? What do you want to do here, Jason? You want to answer it yourself or challenge Melissa? I'm going to pass. Melissa, is the natural disaster heat waves, tornadoes, earthquakes, or hurricanes? I'm going to say heat waves. Is it heat waves? Good, good answer. It is heat waves, and that's worth $250. You now have $725, and more importantly, you are in control. You're the challenger with two drop zones. Here's the next question. If Earth is the third rock from the sun, what is the fourth? Keep it yourself an answer if you like, or challenge Jason. I'm going to challenge Jason on this. All right, Jason, is the fourth planet Jupiter, Venus, Saturn, or Mars? Through my head, even before the question was asked, I went to go say, I'm so stupid, man, really. Saturn. Is it Saturn? Uh, no. It's Mars. Mars. All right, Jason, your 1275 goes over to Melissa, giving her a total of $2,000. Yeah. Yeah, one planet away from greatness, and unfortunately, you picked the wrong one. And now you play Russian Roulette with two drop zones. Unlock Jason's zone. Anything you'd like to say? Mama, I love you, Mama. I do love my mom. Okay, good to know. Real good to know. Come on. Let's play Russian Roulette. Whenever you're ready, give it a pull. No! Champion, congratulations! I thought he had you. I really thought he had you. Come right over here. Right over. We're going to stay here for a while. Hello, we're going to dance. No, we're not dancing, although I know you probably feel like you can dance right now. <laughs> Melissa, you have $2,000. Jason missed that question and only took one. I told you strategy is everything. You hung in there. You are our champion. And that $2,000 is your money to keep no matter what happens in the next round. Good for you. Well done. We're going to take a little break. Let Melissa collect her thoughts a little bit because when we come back, she's got a big job. We're going to put her skill, your nerve, and your luck to the ultimate test. You realize that if you answer all 10 of our questions, you're going to win $10,000. And if you do it quickly, you're going to have a chance at $100,000. Well, we'll see if she's successful right after this. Stay with us. $2,000. It's your money to keep no matter what. Congratulations. You've Thank done great you. to get to this point. You answer all 10 of these questions in 60 seconds or less. You're going to win $10,000 and the chance to turn that into $100,000 by pulling that handle one final time and surviving the last game of Russian Roulette. You know how this works, right? Yes. Uh, if you get stuck, you can pass. Uh, you have 60 seconds. The new drop zone opens every 10 seconds. If you run out of time or give a wrong answer, you're dropping, okay? Gotcha. Understand? Yes. All right. Let's unlock all six of the drop zones. 60-second clock starts after I finish the first question. You good to go? Good to go. All right. Good luck. Here we go. 
Paul Newman, Randy Newman, or Alfred E. Newman? Who's raised millions for charity with his line of food products? Paul Newman. Right. Breakfast, lunch, or dinar? What is money in Tunisia? Dinar. Right. A sled, a bed, or a shed? In the classic film Citizen Kane, what is rosebud? A sled. Right. X, Y, or Z. What letter did Muslim leader Malcolm Little substitute for his last name? X. Right. Ozone, genome, or Jerome? What is the complete set of your DNA? Genome. Right. Spanish Armada, Spanish Inquisition, or Spanish Fly? Which is associated with the cruel friar Torquemada? Spanish Inquisition. Right. Pasta, potatoes, or rice? Who is President George W. Bush's national security advisor? Right. Right. Tall, medium, or short? What comedy actor starred on SNL and SCTV? Short. Right. Jefferson, Van Buren, or McKinley? What's the highest mountain in the United States? McKinley. Right. Arrow, spear, or bullet? What's the name of Japan's high-speed trains? Bullet. Right. Stop the clock. That's 10,000 dollars I know, you were waiting for the next question, weren't you? Ready to go. You got all ten of them, and you have two zones still uh, closed and safe. Four out of six uh, zones have opened. Two out of six is your chance for winning $100,000. Now, what do you want to do? You've got $10,000. If you give this $10,000 up, pull that handle one time, and end up with one of these two zones under your feet, still standing here, you're $100,000 richer. So, Melissa, what are you going to do? You, you're going to save it and I'm you keep your money. I'm going to save it. I'm going to sure. All right. Half the audience agrees, the other half doesn't, but that's just going to your decision. That to. means that you walk out of here and you don't drop out of here. You walk out Woo. with $12,000. <laughs> <laughs> just, um, just to see what would have happened. You want to give it a pull and see what, what might have been? Sure. Not right now. Hold on a second. But okay. is it, you want to see? All right. So let's uh, close and reset all of the drop zones. So what I'm going to have you do is pull that handle in a moment, and then you'll step over here with me where it's safe. All right. Just to find out what would have happened, let's play Russian Roulette. All right, Melissa, pull that handle and then step over here with me. Step right over here. Let's see what would have happened. You would have been in trouble. You made the right choice. Congratulations. Well, it almost came up, but not quite. So, Melissa, you've done it. You walk out of here with $12,000. What a great job by answering all four questions. That's all the time we have, folks. Be sure to join us next time for the ultimate game of chance. Until then, I'm Mark Wahlberg saying, watch your step.